Fuck yeah! I want to kind of dive into that, uh, like I alluded to a couple of minutes ago, though, that uh, like years ago, I remember seeing something with you on Jerry Springer. I never saw the actual episode when it aired live, but give us a little context and background on that, because if people come across that like I did, it's just it's like, what the what the fuck is this? And is it a work? I can't legally say it's a work. Jerry's dead, you know. I, I I don't mean that in any bad way, but come on, no one's gonna sue you. You never know. Anyway, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, no, so Drake Younger called us up, and uh, he was like, "I got to hook in with this girl for Springer. They want some people to do some storylines." We're thinking like Drake and them split up and was gonna do. A thing and then it was me scotty boy vortex and omg and i was like mm. cool and they were like well what can we do and omg's really in the military and i was like well what about i'm mad because he's in the military so i cheated on him and they're like okay let's do it and then the thing is is omg had a her- hernia like a herniated bulge right there oh. and so during the fight scene Scotty and OMG's throwing punches, and they're like, yeah, we're really going to lay him in to make him look good, you know, whatever. And they start throwing punches, and Scotty accidentally uppercuts OMG right in that hernia, and he walks off stage. And it, it's a split second, but it's so brilliant. Scotty goes, uh, look at that. He's leaving you like he always does. And he was going to the back to throw up because he hit him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, but that's yeah, that's, that's, that's what that was. It was uh, they they reimbursed me for the day's wage loss, and um, and gave us coupon or a uh, gift certificates or whatever to Hard Rock Cafe, and then put us up in a really nice ass hotel. And yeah, what was Jerry like? I didn't get to meet him. Really? It was, it, he, they kept him separate. We didn't get to meet him until we were out there, so it was really weird. But it's like, crazy. Right, I mean, fair enough. but here's like, the thing. So here's the kicker. Yeah, yeah. Not everything on there is a work. So no, I, I know you, there's some of it. If you but... go on there saying that you're related in any way, you have to prove your relation. So people who go on there is like kissing cousins. Like when we were there, there was three cousins, two females and a male there, and they were in a love triangle with each other. Yeah. And I thought that it was a work. They, 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 apparently it, it's not in their world. And um, when we were in the back getting ready, we were talking about certain things. And she's like, so what are you here for? And I tell him, she's like, oh, I'm just here for fucking my cousin. And my other cousin got mad because she's been fucking him, but he doesn't know we've been fucking. And I went, what the fuck is going on? For real though? And she's like, oh yeah, for real. She's like, there's Maybe, not a lot of people on. in our town. And I went, you can't drive? See, there's a lot of shit I thought that was believable on there because of that fact, because I've seen some fucked up shit in my time and traveling and just even around Northwest Indiana, you know, there's some fucking Mm -hmm. like straight cow poke motherfuckers. Like I wouldn't die. I thought that shit was fucking for real. That's why I had to ask. It's so outrageous. It's cringe though. Cause you're like, man, it's like a toss up. Yeah. there's, There's being trash or white trash, whatever you want to call it. But then there's like, Man, maybe she just shouldn't exist. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> you know, like, like oh. they had one on there was a midget stripper, and that midget stripper gave two of our our crew, like, because it was me, Scotty, OMG, like a couple, like a, a group of us or whatever. Yeah. And I'm not gonna say which two in the group, but they they had a stripper, a little midget stripper with the, their little arms going skiing. So they had to be naked enough and close enough to do so. So I'm tiny hands, tiny arms. <laughs> Big I tried deal. to ask logistics, but they avoided the questions. And I was like, all right, but I'm not going to ask you about your personal lives. I'm just saying I'm curious logistically yeah. how this worked out. Cause her arms were really little, like really <laughs> little. <laughs> so I'm like, did you all have to kneel in front of her? Did she brought like, like, remember those things at great America, those robot arms where you squeeze them. <laughs> it fucking just, it's like that robot hand or like the claw to grab something. Too I don't know. I feel like crystal. that would just be a little uncomfortable. Yeah. A little bit. 
Yeah. I've seen German porns though that act like that. So like the back of a Volkswagen, you know, mm-hmm. very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what about Steve? You know, did you did you get to talk to him? Did you meet him? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Nobody. That's nope. fucked up. That's weird. I know. So lame. You, you know, because you always think like back in the day and shit, you had say like this maybe a. Huge... I think this was before Steve. To be honest, was it? I think so. I don't know. I don't remember. But I just I remember being like blown away, like what the fuck, you know? Proving once again, hashtag wrestling is everywhere. (laughs) I was like, there's a monkey there. I see the guy in the monkey suit. Kept distracting the hell out of me. I was like, why is there a guy in a monkey suit just sitting up there in the in the wings, like freaked the hell out of me? I was like, whatever. Okay. (laughs) If you like that video, be sure to subscribe and check out more killer content from your homies at Juice Pro Wrestling.